this history special and you join me in London and I'm going to take a little walk around and through Tower Bridge. Uh, the bridge is a combined bascule and suspension bridge and it was built between 1886 and 1894. The cost of construction was 1.1 well, 1.2 million back in those days, which is around about 138 million in today's money. was a man called Sir Horace Jones and when he died in 1887 a man called George D Stevenson took over. Stevenson replaced Sir Jones's uh, original brick facade with this more ornate Victorian stonework which is much more in keeping with the stonework at the Tower of London just next door. this bridge many times but it's not until you actually stand on the bridge and actually look up and, and uh, look at it architecturally that you actually marvel at the bridge's construction but now I've had a good look at the outside let's go and have a look at the inside This is absolutely fascinating. Wow. I think I was last here about 40 years ago. It shows me age. Wow, this is the, the walkway above the river. It's quite amazing, actually. Wow. Get a good view across the river, HMS Belfast on one side, County Hall, the Shard. Absolutely wonderful up here, gosh. Just ahead, they've got a, a glass floor. And they go straight down onto, you can see straight down onto the roadway below. Oh dear, let's have, a, let's have a go. This is very brave of me because I got vertigo. Apparently the views are quite good, but I'll, I'll look on my camera later and check the views. There we go. Wow, walking up those, uh, those stairs, look at the internal architecture of this bridge really was absolutely fascinating and quite a few interesting little displays on the way as well but uh, walking up here into the, uh, the central cross beam that goes across between the two towers uh, really is uh, absolutely fascinating up here but I didn't like that, uh, that glass ceiling uh, glass floor even um, I got across but uh, Rather unnerving, especially with vertigo, but uh, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I walked across. But now let's head down towards the, uh, the other tower and down into the engine room and uh, see what we can discover down there. Wow, that 
was fascinating looking up into the tower and seeing the, uh, the mannequins of the workmen. I wonder what, other, what else I'm going to discover here inside Tower Bridge. interesting floor with uh, some very large bolts and rivets and uh, other things for uh, which they used during the construction of the uh, the bridge well absolutely fascinating but now I'm being directed down to the um, down to the engine room. Just crossing um, pedestrian section of the bridge. Ah, oh, wow! This is uh, this is so exciting. I'm really in my element here. I find um, Victorian architecture, as I said, just so fascinating. And to um, get to have a chance to look at the inside of a an impressive bridge like this really is. Um, very exciting indeed. But now let's head down into the um, the engine room and look at the uh, look at the displays and engines down there and the raising mechanism of the bridge. interesting seeing those two uh, cross weight furnace furnaces manufactured up in Leeds wow because they would have been coal fired they would have produced steam which would have then um, lifted the uh, the bridge mechanism wow. 20 tons of coal a week they burnt that's quite a staggering amount got some coal trucks just here as well, wow, absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing watching these steam pump engines. There's two of them, and they're 360 horsepower each. What a, an amazing feat of engineering they are. Absolutely incredible. Seeing how they work, how the lifting mechanism then in turn lifts the, uh, the bascule bridge. 
So we'll go down and take a look at that now. Wow, absolutely amazing. Those old steam engines were designed by Hamilton Owen Rendell and they stopped using them in 1976. Absolutely incredible to see them. Absolutely incredible. Well that was my tour of the um, of Tower Bridge in London and the uh, and the engine room. Didn't get down into the um, into the counterweight room. Uh, they only did that on special tours. I remember going down there about 35 years ago. So it was a bit of a shame there, but... But I still, nevertheless, I still enjoyed my walk around there. Um, and dare I say, I enjoyed that um, <laughs> glass floor as well, I suppose. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I'll, I'll look down on the video and... Um, and look at the glass floor on that when I come to edit. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time for another history, history special somewhere else.